My name is Barak Vincent Uhuru. I am uh, 19 years old. I, I come from Kisumu County at a place known as Rabuar Village. Uh, in our family, we are about four, and uh, I am the third born. When my, when my mom died in uh, the year 2013, I was about nine years, eight years old. And uh, from there, I was taken by my, one of my relatives. And uh, during that period, I was in grade three. So I was not uh, accurately enough to know what is happening. I studied in uh, the rural for three years. And for the third year, I, could, I didn't finish. So when my mom died, uh, my relative took me to Nairobi. There, we lived with um, the, the aunt, and uh, she nurtured me for almost a year. But uh, during the process, I was, she was able to take me to school. And uh, I learned about one term for the year. The two, mean, the two terms remaining, I was not able to go to school because of uh, fee problems. When I was in my aunt's house, uh, my aunt was jobless, so the, she could not have enough enough money to maybe purchase for me clothing. So I was having almost uh, three clothes that I would, I would wash maybe twice in a week. And uh, again, there I could only eat at uh, supper because she was going for some little job at uh, some hotels and in the evening she would come back with the the, the remains from the takeovers, the leftovers from the from the, the hotel. I used to interact with some of my friends, uh, the children from that uh, same same plot. That time, the children the children decided to take me for a walk, and when we were walking, they took me to a place that is uh, the dumping site. There, they showed me some containers with refuse. And from the refuse, uh, we were able, together with them, we were able to select some of the edible food that were thrown there. So I used to take this uh, refuse and eat, and I would find that it is better to be here, because at, I, at, at least I'm getting lunch. So one day uh, we went there, but uh, su suddenly I, I came back home late. So my aunt uh, asked me where I was. And she confirmed because I told her I told her that um, I used to go to the dumping site with this this my neighbor, this our neighbors and uh, because she was a very angry and cruel madam she decided now to chase me out of the house because I was not able to maybe to talk to her and tell her the problem that I'm having because I was also fearful I just decided to get out of the room with a, a carton box holding having some two shirts and a short and a school sweater. Uh, we left with the, one of the children from the, from the plot to the dumping site. Uh, when uh, we reached a certain place uh, next to a river, there was a certain tree. So under that tree, I decided to lay down my beddings, the, those uh, old clothes. And uh, uh, after laying the beddings, we went to where the tracks were. On the tracks, there were some uh, refuse that were being thrown and when by the time they are being thrown we, we run to that place select which are edible and then we keep them and when we go to the under the tree take them I, I thought that I found the solution to my life staying there was better than staying in my aunt's house because I was able to get some something to eat I was living I was living in the street sleeping in the street and also eating in the street so the, that street became my home. During rainy time, we could not sleep under the, our beddings because when it rains, you don't know the, how much the rain will fall. So we used to look for some places where we can hide ourselves for safety because the rain, we cannot, we could, we cannot sleep in the rain. I was uh, about nine years and a half uh, on a certain morning. When I was folding my beds, beddings, there were two men that used to pass that uh, area. They were, I don't know where they were going, but I even didn't know them. So they saw me and uh, called me. And because I fear, also I fear people, once, at once I did not uh, reply to their calling. But I saw they, they were very sincere with, them, with me, so I decided to go to them and they asked me my name. 
I tell them that, that uh, I am Barak and I live here as a, because of the problems that I experienced at a place where I used to live. They, too, they told me to, to follow them. But uh, I was very suspicious because I didn't know where, where, where they are taking me to. So, but because of their sincerity, I decided to follow them to a certain place. They walked with me for almost uh, a kilometer. They walked with me for almost a kilometer. And uh, we came to a certain building of uh, iron sheet. And on the gate to that building was written Smiling School. There, they, they, we entered with them and uh, they, directed, they, they were directed to the office. They told, they told the director of the school that we have picked this child from the street and we want you to help him. So the director was also uh, of a lot of sympathy. He, should, he decided now to uh, take me as one of his children. Uh, Barak was uh, in a bad state when I found him because uh, he was hungry because he didn't feed well. When I found him, he had no place to sleep because uh, I found him when he has already tried to reach some relative. You know, there's a time someone can tell you there is a, a sister of your this side, there is a brother of your father, something like that. So Barak already tried the relative first before I found him. So he was in a bad state. He lose hope already because I'm not even his relative. So he was wondering if I could help him. And I'm not a relative. And the relative refused to take uh, uh, care of him. So Barak was misused, or we can say abused. He suffered a lot. He stayed in the booth. I, I thought it was like three days. He did not have food. And when he found a way of coming to Nairobi, he thought now he has been relieved. When he came to Nairobi, the, the people he met, which were relatives, also kicked him out. So, finally, he had nowhere to go. He had no clothes, he had the dirty ones, he had no shoes, he had no place to sleep, and then we start from there. When I found him, I was able to support the need when, which he has. One of them is a clothing, shelter, we give him a shelter. He misses education. We give him education. In fact, education, when we interview him, we found that it's very sharp. Uh, it's very, very sharp. I was taken to class with the dumping side clothes and uh, I didn't have a book. So I was just taken there and uh, because uh, there was no place to go to, the director called me again in the evening and told me that, Barak, I want you to stay here. And uh, because I, I didn't have anything, I just accepted now to live here because it's like a change is occurring in my life. So the, uh, he took me to a, a corridor beside the school. And in that corridor, there was a room. And in the room, I was able to see the mattress. I was able to see uh, the stove and uh, the blanket. One day when I was learning, a friend of mine came and uh, he requested to talk to one of the uh, orphans that are in grade eight from uh, an office known as the Mana Ministry Office. Now, when, uh, when she requested to talk to the orphans, I was able to, to, to be among the members. And uh, that day, he gave me a paper. On that paper, I wrote my name, that uh, grade that I'm, uh, I'm targeting to get in KCPE. After taking those uh, records on the paper, he took it and uh, next, the next day he called, if we called the director and told him that I have received a sponsor. Yeah, and uh, I was very happy we have received sponsorship from Light of Kenya. As I, as I was still in the director's house, the calling letter came and I was called in a certain school in the rural area, that is the Dongomix Secondary School. But before I was taken there, one day, uh, Joseph Onyango called the director that he needed me in the office. When I went there to the office, he, he welcomed me softly and uh, he told me that there are some of the shopping that I need to give you before you go, you go to school. So the, he gave me this uh, shopping and uh, a bag 
and even a, a iron box that I can put my things when I'm in high school. It provides me the, the equipment for learning, that is like things like dictionary, kamusi, uh, for figure, biro pens and, and all over, everything. And even pocket money. And uh, surprisingly, she, she told me that uh, my school fees has already been paid. So I was able now to go just to school and uh, learn without paying any fee. When I heard that uh, I've been sponsored, uh, that night I could not sleep. I just, just I, I used to just think from uh, where I started and now how God has done for me wonders. I was very happy. I could even cry because of that change in my life. When the result came for the Form 4 uh, national exam, I, I found that I had a C plus of 48 points. But uh, because it was not my target, I targeted a B minor. I decided now, this is what God has given me, let me take it. Going through high school made me have a hope that I will pursue my career. And uh, the career that I had was being a doctor. Through my sponsorship that I received from Light of Kenya by my sponsor, Gail and Jeff Bowen, I was having hope that uh, I will join a university. When I look at my background, it was not well at all. But coming back and teaching this in the same same school uh, is, is, a, is, a, is something that makes me happy. Because I'm now the one that they may require some knowledge from. So I used to, I am, I'm seeing a very big change between me and my background. And it, can, it, it is something that can happen to anyone. Um, uh, I have greater hope that one day they may become maybe doctors, maybe pilots and uh, engineers because uh, education is something better for a life of a child. Uh, being a teacher here has made me uh, receive salary which I can use to get some of the basic needs like maybe clothes and uh, paying, paying, some, some, paying for some other pupils their fees because fee it is not uh, a, large, a large sum of money. Uh, since I, I had received sponsorship from Jeff Bowen and uh, Gail, it has, it, they, they have changed my life and I really thank them for that greater work that they have done to my life. It has, it has made me realize that there is no child that is, is, is left out. A child can be rescued and a change can occur in each and every one. I want to thank the MANA Ministry for their support in sponsoring my education and even my life in general.